and today we're going to do our big Tekken 8 review. Um, I think we're going to go over it, like mostly our, our experiences, thoughts, you know, things that could be changed or improved about the game overall. Um, and, uh, and then a final rating. Yeah, of course, a final rating. Um, <clears throat> so, like, w within these first two weeks, uh, what has been your kind of experience with the game overall? Uh, server instability. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that, yeah. that. That's been the majority of my experience, unfortunately. Like, I don't know, man. I guess they weren't ready for an influx of players. <sighs> Hard. I mean, do, do we do we know if this is this is actually like full on rollback, full on rollback netcode? I don't think it's full on rollback. It seems like it's still like that kind of like hybrid that we had yeah. in Tekken and Seven, mm -hmm. but like more fine tuned because it's definitely better netcode. You notice it's better netcode because like I'll play with people that I attempted to play with in Seven and that. She just was not gonna work. But then I tried an eight, and it actually was playable. It was playable. Yeah. So like they they did something, and I hope they continue to like tweak it and bring it up to par because it's just uh, it's not good enough for like the current like scape for netcode, right? Like you compare it to Strive or Street Fighter, and yeah. Stuff like that, and it's just like, oh, this is... I mean, those games I could play with anyone in the world, and it's playable. Tekken, yeah. I'm still pretty firmly relegated to staying in the U U.S. Like, I try to play someone in Europe, it's not really going to work very well. <clears throat> so... Uh Fair enough, yeah. I, I think, you know, in, especially like the first day, there was like, lots of crashing, and... Uh, oh, for yeah. sure you know um games were all over the place and they still kind of are um i don't know if it still is this way but i know like certain stages were like giving uh my your computer fits in terms of being able to play mm -hmm. on them like that uh what is it the war zone stage where like i don't know what siege. it's called siege yeah it's called siege yep. and that literally dropped uh my the fr <laughs> our frame rate to like 60 like 30 fps um, yep, tanks uh, and helicopters and explosions. And you're just like, why? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think <laughs> it, it's not necessary. I, I don't know if it, it like necessarily like I had that problem again. I, I think we could test it again. And I think it would be fine. At least that's my theory. But um, mm -hmm. at least initially, I think it's when you play on it multiple times, it has some kind of like memory leak or something going on. Because I know it's like when I play on it like for the first time in the day, it's fine. And then it gets like progressively worse the more and more times it queues up. Yeah. So that could be something. I, I would also say like connectivity with console is like a crapshoot overall. Like I, if I play, yeah, really. like I've noticed that if I play anybody on like a console on Wi Fi, my God, it is always horrible. Yeah. Like it says well, I mean, five bars, but that is like three and below, like guaranteed. Yeah, I, I'll I'll accept like the five bar, and then it's like bouncing between one and five, and it's just like, huh, okay. I mean, yeah. I was kind of ready for something like this, but not to this extreme. And then they don't seem to have any issues at all. Like they're doing like full combos and stuff, and you're just like, have you just adapted to dog shit internet, or <laughs> yeah, or is it fine on your side and just trash for me? I don't understand. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think it has something to do with that, the their their the the console to PC connectivity. I mean, yeah. I, I I don't know for sure. I, I do. I will say that a lot of times where like I will get one and done by a a console connection as well. Like always a console yeah. player that I get one and done by because I think there's just something about that connection that just oh, maybe it's on their side where it's like, oh hell no, I'm not playing this again. <laughs> oh hell no. Um, yeah, I don't. I have no clue what's going on. Like, it's... Uh, okay, so, like, obviously the internet, it, it the the, the netcode is just kind of like, you know, it's all over the place, definitely. Yeah. But 
what I'm wondering is how do you now that we actually have the full game, and mm -hmm. you know it 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 feels pretty good. How how do you feel about the gameplay itself and how the heat system has played into Tekken as a whole? Um. I feel like I'm still struggling to grasp the heat system. Mm -hmm. Like, there's times when I know I should, like, press the heat button and, like, do it, like, in a combo or something like that, but I just don't because, like, so I don't have this in Tekken 7. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think the heat system still needs, like, a lot of work, personally. Because right now it's just free pressure like when someone's in heat like devil Jin, for example right devil mm -hmm. Jin's in heat you're just not allowed to play the game for a bit like you're just blocking and praying maybe like throwing out like some kind of big counter hit or something like that to possibly fish for but like for the most part you're just like locked down because he right. has so many like more options in heat that you can't afford to really aggress on him and quite a bit of the cast has that going as well. Yeah. Which creates, I don't know, like uh, almost a feeling of hopelessness, <laughs> I, I guess I want to say. Like, yeah. Especially if you're at a wall, you're just like, all right, cool. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to pray. Maybe I'll, you know, read right on the 50 50 they get for free after they heat smash, after they've been in heat for, you know, whatever time. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. And I think that's only going to get worse as people get better at using heat. <laughs> so, I don't uh, know. It feels super oppressive. What are your thoughts, though? I, I personally like it. I think it's good. Um, I, I can understand the point of the heat system, like, like maybe people pop heat and then they're, you know, then they're sort of like plus in all these situations. I think they honestly underutilized it in for some characters. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He, some characters are just blessed by the heat gods. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like here's my thing, right? For example, Fang, right? I play, I'm playing Fang in Tekken 8. Mm -hmm. And I think they could have done certain things to make you know, popping heat to have more incentive, right? With him. Because honestly, it feels like there's not much. Like, mm -hmm. he he has the ability to, like, you know, wall bounce and then get a palm after it or something like that. That's sort of, that's one of the, the things. Like, in general, I feel like palm should have been turned into a mid. Like a high mid. That would have been dope. You know, I, I, hey man, give me that cheap shit, okay? Like, give me, I'm like, I, I, I hate everything you just said. I would have loved that. So, what do you think, man? Do you, do you feel like the the heat system has kind of accomplished its goal? Do you think it's good for Tekken Eight, or would you rather see it implemented in a different way? I think we need more time with it, but I do think it probably lasts too long. It feels like it goes pretty much forever unless you have a character that, like, uses a bunch of heat when they use their uh, special moves. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Claudio. Claudio gets to use Starburst moves when he's in heat, right? But he uses a, a chunk of his heat gauge every time, so Claudio's heat generally won't last that long when you're fighting against him. Yeah, but some characters can really like elongate their heat duration. Like um, Lee, when he does certain moves, he actually gains more heat time. Or um, who was it else that did that? Ling um, didn't Ling have like a bug or something like that that extended her? No, uh, Ling. I think when she goes into her uh, hypno stance or whatever, she like regenerates a little bit of heat. Hmm. Yeah, the one where she's just kind of like, what just like walking around you. Mm -hmm. Then the wind starts to form, and then you're mixed. Yeah, that one. Um, Ray. So, I mean, I overall, I kind of really feel like it's there. They they definitely went in the right direction with heat. The heat system. I feel like it fits Tekken a lot better 
and it makes it more of an interesting game than uh seven in some ways in some ways and i i i I really i think i might like this better than seven right now i mean seven seven might feel like home to you though i mean i'm 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 open to like the new stuff right Mm -hmm. but seven did kind of feel like home but also the home was kind of like infested with rats named kunimitsu noctis and nakuma right yeah. So it's kind of mm-hmm. nice to move into a new place without those rats. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, you know, don't forget, ge- uh, did you say geese too? Did you, did, there, no, it was I didn't say with... geese, but geese, geese was in there too. Yeah, he's something. infested with geese. He, they were, they were, he, was in the, he was in the walls, you know. He was in the walls, honking at you, bastard. Yeah. Uh, even though, hey man, it feels like everybody's kind of a goose Howard now. In a way. In some ways, yeah. I mean, like I was saying before, some characters are really, like, blessed in their heat mode, and others just don't get a huge amount from it. Yeah. Like, Lee. Lee's super blessed in his heat mode. You know those really difficult frame-perfect moves that he can do? They just work. It, it, you just dial them in in heat mode, and he just does them. No execution required. Well, man, Mishima's man. all electrics, all the way down. Freaking uh, weird. Actually, it feels like I'll say this: it does feel like inputs in general have been made easier in this version of the game. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, they've they simplified a lot of inputs and like moved other inputs around. Like one of the most annoying inputs for um, Leo's like combo enders was back forward one plus two one plus two quarter circle forward two. Mm-hmm. And so you'd have to run up and then do that input, but in your run up, you had to make sure that you were in the frames where you were able to do inputs properly with the stop, but then you still also had to pick it up. But now you literally just run up and press back one plus two, one plus two, one plus two, and you're done. (laughs) Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yep. Uh Uh-huh. You can still add the quarter circle forward two for blue sparks (laughs) if you want, though. Feeling, feeling special. It's like, yeah, things things have definitely been like simplified, but I feel like in a good direction for the most part. I know, you know, purists will be like, ah, my, my Tekken now, now those like freaking newbies can do cool stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they can. Like, welcome to fighting games in the current year. Yeah, you actually have They're to deal more accessible. You're not gonna be able to gatekeep forever. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. This this honestly feels like going from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 in a lot of ways. Where, oh, yeah, definitely. Where, yeah, l- like, this... Very similar vibe. The skill kind of is like, it's not just a footsies game anymore. You know? Mm-hmm. I mean, it is. It is. I mean, but in the way that, like, yeah, now other people can get in, it's more accessible to more people. Which I think is a great thing. I think that's probably its strongest attribute. I didn't think Tekken 8 was going to be able to pull that off as well as it did, but goddamn, is is it a fun-ass game. I feel like there's a huge gap right now between the really good characters and just the good characters. Yes, yeah. Like... Jack 8 and Azucena and Dragonov and June, probably Jin, they're all just like up here in like video game heaven. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the filthy peasants are like way down below. I mean, I feel like Victor's I'm probably missing someone. I feel like Victor's in there. I don't know if he is. I feel like he's just like a really mash friendly character. And as you learn like his strings, he becomes like less of an issue. I feel like his teleport his gimmicks actual... are yeah. annoying to deal with. That's fair. Have you fought a master raven, or a, I mean, just a raven, not a master raven, a raven? No. He's got some annoying shit. I'm glad I've only seen like three because those clones. I can't even see what's going on. Like, a clone comes out, and then he's rushing in on me at the same time, and I'm just wondering, what's happening? And, like, the clone's, like, obscuring him, and all of a sudden hit with a low, and, like, it's... 
Mm. Mm. It's a tilter. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Some characters are just extremely blessed in this game, and others are kind of like left to rot. Like um, Jack. Jack ate his uh, heat smash. 10 frames. We have variable heat smash frames. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Victor's so Jack heat smash can is also use really his good. heat smash as a 10 frame punish. <laughs> Whoops, I whiffed my jab. I guess I'm going to eat like 70 damage. <laughs> That Jack 8 thing is, that's pretty crazy. Having that be that's, 10 that's frames. That's not all for Jack 8. Oh boy, right? tell me more. <laughs> Jack 8. Okay, sure, I will. Okay. Jack 8's um, rage art. He punches the ground. Like, he does, like, this overhead swing, and it hits ground. Uh -huh. So you can do back 1, 2, and that knocks them to grounded and immediately follows a rage art, and that is guaranteed. Wait, say that? What, what move is knocking people down? back one two back one two it's like yeah he just like bump bump and then just knocks your ass down right if he follows up with a rage art it hits you on the ground guaranteed so do you have to block that and as you're a just low? no no it's it's just back one two is mm -hmm. a natural combo so okay. it's back one two rage art so he just kind of can just do and it he just he just punches you on the ground and it goes into the rage art animation you just you have to hold that oh <laughs> Damn, I think Jack's I think... got some degenerate shit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but whatever. Ten frame heat smash and guaranteed rage art. I mean, I don't know. I I feel like I feel like heat smashes should have been like more closely grouped together. Like uh, Zafina has a twelve frame mm -hmm. heat smash. And then there's other characters like uh, Lily, Lil or Lily. Lily's heat smash is twenty three frames. Twenty three frames. Twenty three. Oh, so it's, it's, it's the trash. slowest one in the game. It's the slowest one in the game. The only like redeeming quality of it is she kind of like does like a jump into the air with it, so it crushes lows. <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't know. Heat smashes are not all created equal. equal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, th so there's definitely some some pretty. Wow, that sounds wild. Uh, yeah. It needs some I balancing. Mean, her heat smash is still good because of like the low crushing qualities, and it grows like decently far. But the startup on it is so slow. You, it's hard to use it outside of just like throwing that shit out in the neutral for plus frames. Whereas, you know, Jack's punishing with his, Athena's comboing with hers, June is comboing with hers, etc. Because June's is like 13 frames. Gameplay. Gameplay. Everything's fucked. I'm, I'm just going to say, every, everything's yes. like just messed up. It's, mm -hmm. it's the Wild West. Nobody, we're still learning how to play Tekken 8. So it's yeah. like hard to say who's actually super good. Yes. And who's bad. There's like that meme chicken list that's been floating around. It's fake. Don't fall for it. It's bait. <laughs> what's, the, what, what's the meme list? Is it just... Uh, I, I need to see it was this. Somebody, somebody made a tier list uh -huh. that was by Chikorin. Yeah. And, you know, it has like all these crazy characters in S tier and everyone's like, oh my god. And then like they have like Leo and like C tier and stuff like that. And they've separated like Kuma and Panda. It's just all it's all fake and all messed up. People mm -hmm. are believing it. They shouldn't. Even the post like after like the tweet was like, hey, this is fake. I can't believe people fell for it. People are still retweeting the damn thing, like, oh my god, Chikorin's tier list is crazy. But <sighs> people just don't know how to play the game yet. It's too early for tier lists. Mm -hmm. We can kind of see who, like, the good-ass characters are, but we don't know how truly good they are. Yes. Because, like I said, we're still learning the heat system. We're still optimizing the heat system. And it's changed the gameplay fairly drastically. <gasps> yeah. Rant over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, I, I, I can definitely see where you're coming from. I, I also concede, like, how... 
it's it's a little bit like uh, I don't know catastrophizing. I guess that's the the therapy word I'm going to use for this because okay. we we are we are Tekken players, right? So we pay attention to all we of the be. bad things that we have to pay attention to because oh yeah, in course. the wild you're just gonna you're gonna be like oh man Jack Seven I gotta you know Jack Eight sorry I have to worry yeah. about his Jack back eight, one he's plus gonna two break my damn ankles and then back one plus two rage art me and i'm just gonna have a bad time yeah that's not that's not jack eight that's the juggernaut and he, yeah he, for real he's and he stole moves from giga so he just flexes on you and then punches you with armor and just, man yeah and he stole war he stole war machines like uh cannon so like now he right. like has a black like a blaster um it's wild blast your ass yeah um so it, it definitely makes sense that you know we would kind of like be like oh man this game is rough around the edges and I, yeah it well, is um but i i I, th I still like even though i will say this with that even knowing all of these things i'm still excited to play the game i still am having a blast you know you know we'll make it sound bad you know but i don't think either yeah. of us are gonna stop playing it because of you know all of no. the bs anytime soon um we'll we'll adapt at some point at some or, point or not or just maybe, bitch maybe. bitch a lot